No. Because if you try that on me, you have opened the hornet's nest. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's my uh, to start with. If you wouldn't do something in person, don't do it in the digital space. So, sending out, and they do it using those automated tools. So, they send out thousands of those emails to people. Because sometimes you respond and you get another automated message, like their follow-up message. So they're using tools to do something that they should actually be doing in person. Because building a relationship is personal. This is relational capital. It's currency. It flows. And so when I receive those emails, it's like you just close the door mm. on my side. Because if I don't unfollow you, if I'm following you, I'll make sure you don't follow me or send me any more of those again. Because there are ways and means to do that in the digital space as well. Block, delete, and follow. Mm, very good, very good. And we were nodding along uh, with recognition there. Gregory, do you want to go next? Yeah, I get so many of these uh, on a regular basis. And and I should take a cue from you, Julie, to, to probably block and, and sort of punish those abusers so I don't uh get that some i try to coach if i have the time saying this is not the right approach you didn't even look at my profile i don't fit any of i'm not your typical customer i wouldn't buy anything that you have um and the approach is bad and some people actually respond said hey sorry you know blah 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 but i think for the most part it's a numbers game for them i don't think there there's anything that we can do to actually stop them except you know trying to raise awareness that it just doesn't work but it must work enough right because Enough people must say yes, and it doesn't matter if it's uh, you know sales behavior or dating behavior. Somebody somewhere is saying yes to this, otherwise they would eventually stop. Mm. Um, but one thing that is crazy that happened to me uh, last year was that somebody spoofed me when I was in my recruiting uh, role, and they pretended to be me with my picture and my likeness, and said, "Hey, I have this job. Would you be interested?" And it was the crazy, what was really bizarre about it is that they would get these people with like an administrative role, you can work from home, and they would set them up and send them a check to purchase office equipment. Now the check had to be bogus, but I, and I wasn't sure maybe by depositing the check, they would get their account information or whatever. And, it, it, and then people were at least savvy enough to reach out to me and say, is this real? Is this you? I'm like, I didn't send that. I didn't, that's not my email address. That doesn't come from me. It's not, you know, it's not my company, but I mean, they used our, uh, our logo and tried to make a professional looking letterhead. Our, you know, CIO had to get involved and our, our CIO got involved. Uh, the, uh, the chief information officer. Oh, sorry. CIO, CTO. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so they got involved to stop it, but it was nuts. I mean, they reached out to a lot of people and probably about five or six of them took at least some of the bait and started through the process and had an interview. Yeah. Do you think that they hacked you so they could steal your picture and all that stuff mm -hmm. just by going to the website? But did they approach your previous recruiter base? Um, I no, I I don't think they went after anybody that I've spoken to specifically. They so they were just spoofing anyway. you for just spoofing any me and, mm. and going after anyone who was open to work, um, and they had like administrative in their in their profile, and those were the targets. And so it looks legit. But if you ever get um, an invitation for a email or text only interview, mm -mm, scam recruiters don't do that. Mm, I did not know that. I, I, sorry, Jackie, I'll come to you in a second. I'll tell you what. So uh, the telephone, mobile phone, I famously don't use a, a, a smartphone. So, you know, we're talking <laughs> basically um, uh, uh, just a few steps away from having a carrier pigeon. But anyway, I got uh, O2, which is the carrier that I use. And I got this phone call. And the bloke goes, yeah, hi there, it's uh, blah, 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 from blah, blah, blah. Yeah, can you give us uh, the first and third letters of your password? I said, mate, I said, you phone me up out of the blue and you expect me to give you this? Behave. Now, it turned out he was real from actually O2. But just the, just the, I think, uh, like, uh, right, Jackie. Lack of social etiquette. 